Here at main campus, over 4,000 copies of Onisoir have been left coverless after being deemed unfit for public viewing. The reason? This. 18 volve, partially censored, each belonging to women from Sydney University. The idea behind the cover was to show the vagina in a kind of everyday way in the public sphere so that it would take away some of the shame and the stigma that we thought surrounds women's bodies. Publications on campus have never been shy of controversy. In fact, less than a week ago, this was the cover of the USU's Bull magazine. But unlike a cartoon penis in a KKK outfit, photographs of vulvae are categorised as indecent articles by the classifications board. The SRC removed the covers amid fears of criminal prosecution. This year there's been a lot of legal trouble. People have been arrested, the SRC is covering all their legal fees. That led to a particularly conservative attitude. However, the uncensored image soon went viral. Website Mamma Mia supported Oni, criticising Volve censorship. It perpetuates an ideal that women's vaginas look like Barbie vaginas, which they don't. But not everyone is celebrating Oni's cover. Vice-Chancellor Michael Spence told the Sydney Morning Herald that the cover was demeaning to women. There were 18 women who participated who all found it to be an incredibly empowering experience and so I don't really feel like Spence has a stake in this. Ada Lee, Sydney Uni News, Camperdown.